You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Sailor Moon After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Sailor Moon After Show. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. We are so so happy to be here because two weeks is far too long for every episode of Sailor Moon Crystal. True. Yes. <laughs> I am Corey K, and joining me is the awesome panel of, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hello, I am The Walking Dale, aka Dale. <laughs> and I'm just Joyce. <laughs> and I'm Marquia. Hey, guys. So am I the only one that gets a last name? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're like Cher and Madonna, you know. Yeah. You guys are and just Beyonce. a prince. Sailor Guardians now. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on that level. Yeah. <laughs> You're left out. No. Well, there is a special surprise um, for all you Sailor Moon fans. You may or may not know that today is... Tuxedo Mask's birthday. Yep. Wow. Happy birthday, Mamoru. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, so August 3rd, um, it's funny because growing up, he was always older and hunky and hot for me. And now he's a little young for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. He, he <laughs> and said, I was like, oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> he said in this episode he was in the second year of high school. Yeah. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. a yeah. high schooler. Which is, definitely yeah. felt older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's oh, illegal old at this point now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to come to terms with some stuff, guys. I think so. I think so. You got older and he stayed exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it odd that I think he's pretty darn hot he's still really oh, really yeah, good he's, looking he's still got it yep he had that yeah. gq look this episode with, yeah. the, with the glasses and he had the, the little suit. glare i was like oh, mm -hmm. my heart God, <laughs> I still. Yeah, well, yeah. no tuxedo at, and during the day this time yeah. Yeah. i know still dressy i don't know if he's fooling anybody I, yet i but. thought of yeah. you though i thought oh dale must be excited you know <laughs> <laughs> he dressed down a little bit yeah just like one notch down i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> so we're going to be talking about act three Sailor Mars, Ray. Yeah. Very so, fantastic. Yes, we get the intro of Ray, and it was a really good one. Uh, it's a little different, a uh, different vibe than obviously the ones that we saw growing up. Um, her vibe is different, and I actually really like yeah, this her is, vibe this time around. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite episode so far. Oh. And I do, I do like her, her like persona right now. Like her demeanor and everything is different. I do like that. Yeah. A lot better than before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that I mentioned before when I was watching it as a kid, I didn't like her too much. She was my least favorite one because she was kind of a brat and... Short-tempered. Short-tempered. Yeah. And they were always butting heads. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of them butting heads as well in Crystal, but she seems a lot more... It's hard to say because she is mature anyway, but... Yeah. yeah. Just not as... But she's it, less antagonistic yes, than she yeah. was. Exactly. You know, it's more like, uh, okay, this is my friend that's going to help me through things as mm -hmm. opposed to berating me while she's helping me through things. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And we saw a little bit of the motivation of why she might be so tight. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the whole community was like, that girl, she got them weird powers. <laughs> yeah. and why she probably stole our kids. You know? yeah. like, oh, gosh. They, they, she just, like, helps your kids out. Yeah. yeah. But it, it goes more in line with, with what she's doing. Like, she's she's the the shrine priestess right i mean yeah, yeah. i don't yeah. forgot what the title was but um like it just goes more in line with with what she does and she's more calm and a little bit of an outcast but she's a lot more zen and not so yeah like outlandish with her mm -hmm. with her anger so i guess they call her the shrine maiden okay yeah based on subtitles so yeah let's talk about her for a little bit because there's a lot about her that we just noticed like you guys all mentioned um, and she seems conflicted and slightly uh, just alone, a loner, and apparently she's hot. Yeah. Like, oh, she's uh -huh. extremely hot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Usagi, yeah. from the moment, she's just like, oh my Ooh. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I even love when the, well, I'm jumping ahead, but the reveal yeah. when Sailor Mars, they're all at the end, and Sailor Mars sees uh, Sailor Moon, 
And then when she realizes it's Usagi, you see the heart, the heart yeah, eyes in Usagi. Yeah. <laughs> like of all the visions, you're like, like stop and, staring. And, and then that was stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how she knows that that's uh. Usagi. Like, wait a second, you're Usagi, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not at all. I'm not Usagi Chan. That's so funny. And that other girl with the hair down to my feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, Who are you fooling? <laughs> These are all very bad costumes. I have to say, I'm fooling a lot of folks. So Ray is obviously super hot and she's dedicated to the shrine and figuring out evils and making sure that they get away and that she can exor exorcist exorcism she can pull exorcism i guess like to just kind of exercise the demons that yeah. she feels and stuff around yeah. around her yeah yeah that's with crazy her, you know anti-demon paper <laughs> I, it didn't it didn't come up in subtitles those are called that. um ofudas i think Nice. Those are, they're Sorry, like probably. I I don't know. I read about them a while ago, but it's it's um, what's it called? It has the name of of a Shinto a spirit, uh -huh. and you're supposed to get you get issued those by the shrine that you belong to or whatever. Hmm. I'm not sure how it works, but and then you put them on your door your doorway to like protect your your life and your your house and everything like that. Oh, so. you can smack it. Oh, that that too. <laughs> that too. That oh. too. Along with her power to sort of. <laughs> Well, it's, it's kind of Sends funny because we first see her in her in her shrine um, doing prayers and all that stuff. And then the next time we see her, she's on a bus. Sailor Mercury and Usagi are sitting there saying, oh, there's a hot chick on this bus, <laughs> so let's get on the bus. <laughs> and that's what happens. And apparently Usagi's so mesmerized by her beauty. I'm going to follow her off that this That is so stop. weird. <laughs> it, is, it is a little weird. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, well, when you think about it, when uh, she was following uh, Ami, it was because, oh, she's super smart. Oh, uh -huh. she's so alone. She'll help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this was a totally different vibe. You're like, oh, she's so attractive. I'm going to follow her. Yes. <laughs> and she shows up at her doorstep. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, can I help you? <laughs> I love it. She was she was the com comedic relief in this episode. Oh yeah, oh, for I sure. loved it. Always, yeah. she's always hilarious. Yeah. And then we have um, what was her name again? Me, John. Me? Little one. Yeah. I think just me. Me. Yeah. Me. Okay. Oh yeah. So me is obviously missing, and at the very beginning of this episode, we see that me is I guess homegirls or her friend Ray's friend, even though she's exponentially younger. But hey, why not? That's that. that it does happen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Big sister role. Yeah. 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 Seems fine. She yeah. sets her off onto a bus. That is not such a good bus. Got on that six o'clock demon. That's, yeah. I love the name of that bus, by the way. Like <laughs> the demon bus. Demon six p.m. bus or something. Like, wouldn't you just avoid it at that point? I know. If that's what it's called. Like, I know. Everyone knows about this mystery six p.m. bus. So <laughs> if at six p.m. a bus is coming my way, I might be okay with missing that one. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I can wait for the six o five. I'll be fine. <laughs> So the little girl does end up going on that bus, apparently. Um, we'll talk about that later. But she's missing for a couple days. And her mom comes to Ray and says, hey, my child's missing. And they start antagonizing her, blaming it on Because th that was her. the last spot she was in before she disappeared. Yes. She was at the shrine. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking it was kind of like a witch hunt, though. It's like you have this strong spiritual person you know, at the shrine. Mm -hmm. She's obviously no nonsense. And then that's the first person that they turn to that, like, hey, yeah. Yeah. this child is missing. Did you do it? <laughs> yeah. Well, because yeah. she, she said that she's been looked down upon her whole life because mm -hmm. she has these powers and everybody knows she has these powers. And it's like, well, the one weirder person in this, yeah. in this uh, community should be responsible. And they're also, they're like, you know, well, if you have these powers, why don't you use them to that too, yeah. find yeah. my kid? I'm like, come on. Yeah. Either do it or don't. Yeah. You either took her or you're going to help me find her. You get, <laughs> Which one is she it? gets <laughs> condemned and she gets, um, like, you know, tr pressure to help out. Yeah, yeah. it's like, geez. Poor yeah. Ray. Poor <laughs> girl. Yeah. And you can um, see that she really feels alone because when Usagi witnesses the, the come down, Usagi says, hey, I, I want to help you find this girl. We'll help her find her. And Ray's like, mm-mm. I, I think you shouldn't be my friend. You should avoid me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of yeah. sad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, it makes me feel for Ray. And uh, I remember in the original series, you didn't feel for her right mm -hmm. away. She was just nope. she was a... super strong. Yeah. Yep. You know, there was very little vulnerability except for when it came to some relationship stuff with her. And I think it was Chad. I don't know his, uh, mm. his yeah. Japanese name, but he was the yeah. goofy guy right. that was at the shrine yeah, trying yeah. to learn. When it came to him, she had vulnerability. But until then, it was just... She's just like, 
hard nose. Yeah. 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 Do, do you guys yeah. kind of remember in the old one when she had a thing for a tuxedo mask? Yeah. Oh, yes. right. Man, that yes. pissed me off. <laughs> but he, he, he barely showed up this time. Yeah. Which is crazy. Uh, yeah, he's not That's showing up too much. Time. Yeah. I kind of like that, though. It seems like they're teasing him to be... You know, we're going to get a huge moment with him, but these little snippets are, are nice for me to just be like, he always either misses the moment or comes right when he doesn't really need yeah. to be there anymore. Yeah. He'll know? have like, he'll have his own big episode. Yeah. yeah. I, think, so. I think we'll get something cool. Oh, yeah. That'd be Definitely. nice. I like that it's always a little bit of a comic thing with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like last time it was her talking to Luna. <laughs> yeah. And then this time, and Luna's like, no, 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 don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. He's like, are you talking to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Well, funny. let's talk about Tuxedo Mask a little bit because even though he doesn't have much in this episode, every moment with him really counts. Like, you can totally feel yeah. that there's something about them, that they're extremely connected, mm, you know? <laughs> and I think it's so funny that each time, um, whereas episode three now, you see Usagi's crush being bigger and bigger. Uh -huh. yeah. She's making it more and more obvious. <laughs> I love how she carried Luna over her head. Just yeah. like, no. She's like, no. Like, I'm pretty sure he knows you're still there. Yeah. <laughs> the cat's not blocking much. Or, or I'm pretty sure he knows that you like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. at this point. Yeah. Although, but something very pivotal happened. I, I thought he saw her transform this episode. Or, or he's he's oh, almost yeah. positive that he saw her change into a flight attendant. Uh, yeah, for a bus. which was so oh, random. So. She's like, "Why are you?" And Luna's like, "Why are you a flight attendant?" She's like, "My mission is to protect the children on the bus, the <laughs> safety of the passengers." Yes, yeah, safety of the passengers. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. So yeah. I mean, I think he he might put it together pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sooner rather than but, later, I mean, which yeah. you know works for what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. Cutting out the fat, mm -hmm. just the you know the good stuff. Yep. True. Well, in this world, though, I would say that if you look at a girl with the same hairstyle as Sailor Moon, because mm. it's quite unique, yeah, it'd be like, wait a minute. It's true. <laughs> where's, where's Sailor Venus at this point? She she was she's, in the beginning, and then we haven't really seen her. I thought we might see some hmm. more flyers of her helping people or doing oh, something Oh, like, like they tease her like they did in the previous yeah. ones? I think they're probably just know. doing yeah, it differently. Well, yeah. They had a poster of her in, mm. in the episode. It was like... Was that the arcade? Okay. Near the arcade? She yeah. is the video game. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. She is, cool. yeah, yeah. Like what? in the original series, she was the very last one. Mm -hmm. to, that's right. right. Okay. With Artemis, yeah. they even mm -hmm. thought that's she was. Right. The, yeah. They even thought she was the princess. That's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's what they're okay. I see now. It's like, but the princess has buns. Like. Duh, guys. You ain't fooling Duh. anyone. No. Hey, if Superman can fool people with glasses for as long as he did, these guys are doing that's, fine. That's true. So what's really another point about Tuxedo Mask is that we he introduces himself this time around. He says, I'm Mamoru. And then he also explains that he's a high school student. So we get a lot more, which is actually just two little snippets of him. But we do get a lot more than we did in the previous episodes. Yeah. Absolutely. And then we also find out that he is going to now look for this mysterious Sailor Moon chick. <laughs> yeah. He, he's getting closer. He feels it. He's like, for oh, sure. He's definitely connected. Yeah. 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 I wonder how many visions he's having because we're seeing these little snippets for everybody else, but we haven't really, we don't know what he knows yeah. per se. So I wonder if he has caught on to anything. I, I wonder, because I know in the previous one, he used to be conflicted with all these you know, like the flashbacks dreams. and yeah. his dreams. Yeah. Well, he didn't even actually really know he was tuxedo mask for a while. <laughs> he like he like you need to out. find out where he came from and yeah. those dreams. He felt like they were telling him, but in this episode, he doesn't seem so conflicted right now or this season. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're right. I have a feeling that it's gonna um, be a really big moment for him. Yeah, but I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we'll be there <laughs> for that. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's also briefly talk about um, Sailor Mercury is now. A sailor guardian so now there are two let's talk about their relationship because now luna has another smart person with her which is nice <laughs> someone she can finally relate to uh -huh. it's, it's so funny because luna says well we have a, we have a meeting we have to go to and she usagi wants nothing to do with it until luna's like it's gonna be at the arcade oh okay She's let's like, go oh, yeah <laughs> i'm not so tired anymore and at the <laughs> meeting it's mercury and luna and Sailor Moon way over there playing in the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Not the best meeting. Yeah. Really. I like that Luna had the foresight to put the communicators <laughs> in the machine because she knew where she would be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the only way she's going to pay attention is if it comes out of this arcade machine. <laughs> On that note, um, there's a slight difference, like very slight difference from the manga, from Act 3 in the manga. Um, it's known that, in this episode, it's known that Ami and Luna both know that, you know, 
Luna's planting these, but the only person that doesn't know is Usagi, and so they they share a little wink, like a little moment in the episode, but it's not in the manga. But it's still kind of known that like Usagi is just totally oblivious to the fact that <laughs> Luna's giving these to her. She's not actually winning the prizes. <laughs> well, Usagi's a trip. Yeah. yeah. She's all heart. Yeah, she yeah. really is. Just she about is. It, though. Which is great. <laughs> and then Ami also is still kind of in shock that she happens to be a Sailor Guardian. So that's happening. And then, okay, let's talk about the bad thing and have them in her lab. In the meantime, we have the bad boys of the episode. With oh, yeah. Jedi's in big trouble yeah. because he failed last week. So last two weeks ago. Yeah, Queen Beryl does not take failure lightly. Yeah. <laughs> no. Already a new baddie in town. Mm-hmm. He's like, yep. hmm, can't do it, can you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll take it from here. <laughs> so we got like a little, uh, the other kings from the evil dark kingdom coming out saying we'll handle this. And they devise this bus that we mentioned the demon bus 6 p.m yeah Mm -hmm. and (laughs) that's so funny and um apparently this bus goes through this mysterious sixth hill that ray was trying to explain um it's called spirited away or something Mm -hmm. this hill so this bus ends up capturing ray after ray has a vision of usagi being in trouble um with jedi yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. They're both in the vision. So she's running after this bus, which is so weird. How did you know it's a. Okay, anyway, it's just weird. But it does work for me, but it's it so was weird. fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Jedi yeah. opens the bus and puts her in a trance, throws her into the bus, and somehow Sailor Moon happens to be around. Well, was she running <laughs> after the bus or was she running after Sailor Moon? Um, but the bus just happened to be there. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, it that, that, that's, like that's what that I way. thought. That sounds smarter. Because yeah. I think I don't think she made that connection right away. I think she was just running in that direction yeah. because that's where Usagi went. Oh. And then like the when bus, he opened the yeah, door, they, when he opened the door, right. that's when it happened. Oh, okay. And then it, was yeah. too, it was too late for her. She was like, I know. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this side of the table is now enlightened. Like, oh, it's so much more sense now. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you. I think that uh, makes more sense. Yeah. So, and so Usagi, you see Usagi seeing Ray in the bus, and she needs to go get her. So she transforms into a flight attendant. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. So she's strange. So, sweet. so adorable. Bless her heart. It's like all the things that she fantasized herself being in the future. She's just thinking of and transforming into. Yeah. It's like transportation, transportation. Uh, Model. Flight, flight yeah. person. <laughs> so <laughs> random. And she ends up going into that dark hole where the bus goes to she's holding on to a pillar <laughs> scared because she has no idea where she is no idea what to do screaming on the top of her lungs i'm thinking how is not no one here gonna kill you right now yeah, <laughs> yeah. isn't jada like right there yeah he's somewhere. like right there like, i mean he's there he's there it's misty <laughs> but he, misty. he could surely hear her <laughs> yeah. screaming out but Whatever. So much for protecting the passengers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she did she, not complete that mission. <laughs> no, she got that column all protected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. So then we have Luna and Ami trying to figure out where she is. So they decide, look, we have these watches from the arcade that they're both carrying. Why don't we have her transform and we'll figure out where... Well, they communicate through the watches. But then why don't we have tr- her transform so we can figure out where she is based on the energies of the transformation. So they communicate with her, with the watches, and tell her, transform. She's like, oh, okay, fine. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so that's how they locate her, which also shows Ami's intelligence once again, because she yeah. outsmarted Luna in that yeah. instance. Yeah, although Very I do nice. love, I love Luna at a keyboard. That's yeah, like the cutest, oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I love how we all just did that. Yeah. <laughs> It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Little Luna paws. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the, the thing about this episode that just really, uh, I guess, frustrated and kind of confused me. Yes, they read the energy signature. So they're like, oh, okay, she's there. How did they show up so fast? I mean, well, they she... were like, what, in a park? And then she transforms. Yeah. And then they're just hmm. there. I don't know. How do they, they have a trans, I tell th- like a transporting yeah. system like well, teleportation I, I, system that, like, why later. ask why <laughs> <laughs> that's how? how it is weird though yeah I, I didn't really think about it too much but now that you bring it up i don't yeah. know how they got there because yeah, that's true like in the original series when they're transporting places they have to like pool their energy together right. and hold hands mm-hmm. you know sailor moon power yeah. sailor yeah. planet power yeah and then they you know 
bean. Turn, to... Turns out that sixth hill was just three blocks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe they looked out. They were like on the bench of the sixth hill or something. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's right behind us. How <laughs> convenient. Nice. It's sweet. a parking garage. Huh. <laughs> So they joined them, and then they had that transformation sequence when both of them are doing it at the same time, which uh, Dale mentioned was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was I liked cool. it. It was yeah. really cool. I like it. it. I mean, it might have saved a little time, but it just felt very, I don't know, the way that they edited it together, it just was really cool. And it gave also Ray her chance to transform later. Yeah, yeah we, we need her to transform on her own. Mm -hmm. I just, I like how they're how Usagi and Ami are so much closer now and like they're still so different but this kind of showed how they're getting closer to you know having teamwork and mm -hmm. figuring out each other and their powers and their you know their friendship is just growing in, in all those aspects mm -hmm. which yeah. is cool it's nice to have um, Usagi not by herself yeah and yeah. also she's not gonna be they, both of them are not gonna be by themselves either and I feel like Ray. I feel like Ami has kind of given Usagi this confidence because she was definitely more confident in this episode oh yeah yeah she didn't she didn't do that cry yeah power this episode either <laughs> At the so pillar, nice. <laughs> yeah, that instead except that. At the pillar, she was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. So you know, it's nice to see them both battling out Jedi, but he is kind of kicking their ass. He somehow freezes their arms yeah. together, and while that's happening, Ray, you know, she stirs and notices. Wait, that's that chick that followed me down to my shrine. That's, that's my stalker. And then it's like, like no, it's not me. This, that, that's not me. That's someone else. I'm Sailor Moon. I swear to God, Sailor Moon. I love Luna in the oh. background, just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. like, what are you saying? Face palm. Like, what is happening? Face paw. Yeah, face paw. <laughs> Hashtag face paw. Hashtag face paw. Hashtag Let's do it. Let's do it. I love that. So we have uh, Sailor Sailor Mars or Ray at this time. When she realizes that they're her friends, she decides I'm going to stop Jedi. And Jedi puts I forget how it works out, but Jedi tries to hold her with his ice thingamajig, and yeah. her firepower apparently stops it. And then her Mars emblem pops up, and yeah, yeah, Luna's like. Take the spin. <laughs> Luna has a lot of pockets. That's what I've learned. I'm telling you, she keeps everything in her hammer space. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah she like, does. Whoa. She knows what's up. <laughs> and then we finally see Ray's transformation. Yeah. And she's hot. It was oh, great. Man, yeah. So good. It, I like her shoes the best so far. I know. I was thinking about it. It's funny yeah. how she wears these little high heels where everyone has boots. And she, yeah. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to show my legs, my gams. <laughs> I love it. She was my favorite when I was a kid, and she's still my favorite. And I and I like her much more now that they've kind of changed up her Yeah. Her I do like her a lot now. A little more yeah. backstory helps you identify with her. Yeah, well. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And she, she says covered up most of the day, so she wants to bust out them yams, right? you know? Yeah. Right? Get those That's pumps. true. <laughs> I don't mind. Plus, it gets, it gets hot fighting like Mars. <laughs> That's, That's right. true. That's yeah. right. So, yeah. so, uh, so Jedi throws some mist or ice at her, and then she blocks it. And at, initially, we have Usagi and um, Mercury. I'm not even saying their names like in sequence. But <laughs> they're, they're, they're frozen. And then after she does that, they're unfrozen, which I thought was kind of weird. And then he says, go do it. And she does this boomerang thing. Yeah. And then who who kills? I Now I'm forgetting. I, uh, so I think, I think. well, they combined all their, their powers together. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he's well, except he's for, trapped in the... Except for, I don't know if I don't Mercury did anything, did anything. but yeah. no, Sailor it's... Moon threw her tiara. Yes. And then it, like... So he's, like, trapped in the tiara. Yeah. And then the flames come. But mm -hmm. it... It looks to me like maybe he doesn't die. Like, yeah. No, he doesn't. He just kind of transports <laughs> away or whatever. Yeah. He's like, yes. this sucks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought it was weird that we saw that that paper that Mars like yeah. you know, the... had in her fingers. And then when she actually threw the flame ring or whatever it was, um, it didn't, the paper just kind of disappeared. It didn't stick to his forehead uh, or anything. I didn't see uh, it after that. Hmm. That's a it must have burned. It must have burned up. I don't know. Good observation. <laughs> Our flames burst out of it. Yeah, because that was yeah. the power. That's probably inside. it. Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> it channels it. Yeah, it does. Sure. Yeah. So now we've got <laughs> moon, water, and fire, which is pretty awesome. Cool. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Very cool. And they're all happy, and they all each have a different, you know, element and like specialty to them yeah. that's really cool one's really smart one's really spiritual the other one's just clumsy and crazy and yeah. nonsensical <laughs> it's a good group it and is I'm, a good group i'm glad ray has friends now uh-huh yeah. yeah now she's no longer an outcast yeah <laughs> as long as she doesn't mean up but yeah so obviously her little friend me is back home and everything works out just they don't even fine. thank her by the way i don't know they if you don't. noticed but the mom's like, at all. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's so true. So rude. rude. And Aww. what does it say about Ray's character that she doesn't say anything yeah. about it? She's just like, okay. She's like, okay. And walks away. This yeah. is done now. It's yeah. that quiet strength. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> over her. <laughs> <laughs> We, whatever. we also get teased for the next episode. Yeah. Mm. This is the first time it's not completely clear who's coming. Yeah. Right. Or True. if anyone's coming, to be honest, because we just see the box and someone is taking pictures of it mm -hmm. or, or something like it, that. It so. looks like it was an airport and there's paparazzi for the box. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it's arrived. I mean, I, I guess <laughs> they're alluding that the crystal is in uh -huh. that box, but... Or a possible crystal. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I feel like it's a bit early to have yeah. like, the main point so, of the series. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty like, sure it's not yeah. the, the crystal, but that teases for the uh, the tease that we get for Act 4, mm -hmm. the masquerade. Masquerade. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And it's funny because the whole, whole time Luna's explaining to Sailor Moon, hey, we have to go to this because there might be the, leg the treasure, the legendary crystal. And she's like, oh, wouldn't it be a treasure to have a romantic dance with? Yeah. Of course. See <laughs> <laughs> no mask. You well, just got to get her there. It's not a matter of how you do it. Just get Sailor Moon to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like dangling a carrot for a horse. Like, come on. Come on. I, don't know, I, I think she would die if she was hanging out with Tuxedo Mask because she's already fainting just sitting next to him. I know. Yeah. Yeah. She has to pull herself together. Yeah. <laughs> And he, he's what? How many grades higher? A couple grades higher than she Yeah, because she's yeah. what? Junior high school and he's second year she high eighth school. Grade and is she eighth grade? Is I that... think she's eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. eighth yeah. grade. So if he's in tenth grade. So tenth, yeah. 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 Something that's, like that's that. not too bad. That's a big deal when you're that age, though. It is at that yeah. age, oh, but yeah. two years from now, it won't make a difference. Yeah, two years from now, it's like, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> They're also going to realize that they got married. At point, so. Yeah. <laughs> be fine. <laughs> that's why they feel that connection. Uh huh. That's yeah, true. They're like two magnets. Yeah. <laughs> Gradually pulling together. Do you have anything that we want to talk about about this episode? No grandpa. No grandpa. Oh, good no, point. Uh, Ray's grandpa wasn't in this oh, episode. Her perverted yeah. little grandfather. Oh, yeah. I completely yeah. forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, I, I was waiting for him to show up, but he wasn't there. We we don't re meet anybody at the at the temple. Then it's really just her. That just we her. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they're saving that for. And I also, if I remember correctly, in the um, original English dubbed that I watched of this episode. Um, I think I think uh, Usagi missed the bus. Like uh -huh. people yeah, were taking did. it and she actually missed it. So like she didn't get on the bus and she was upset, but she still got to the shrine somehow. I'm hmm. not sure. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember. But there was like a there she like missed the chance and she was on she ended up being the only one that was like safe. Oh and that's why she showed up and saved the day mm. with everybody else. She was was she by herself at this point? Oh. I can't recall exactly. Okay. But I'm if I pr I'm pretty sure she was supposed to go on the bus, and uh, she just missed it. Okay. I think maybe even Ami was on the bus. Hmm. I don't remember huh. very oh. well. We should look back. I know. I shouldn't say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. before I get her, something her wrong. missing the bus sounds right. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we'll move on to some news and gossip. Uh, we were at Comic Con. After boom! Us. Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Dale and I were at Comic Con last week. Uh, you guys, it was amazing. Oh, it's fun. It was so nice. great. Um, there was a Sailor Moon panel, um, uh -huh. and there was oh, also nice. a lot of cosplay. A lot right? of cosplay, cool. yeah. which was most of them were pretty pretty spot on. I was impressed with the quality yeah. of a and lot of those. And you dressed up. I did. I saw your photos. I had a lot of fun dressing up. I think you just gotta go and dress up. Yeah. Because it's like the perfect time to be whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's like Halloween. But better than That's Halloween. Fun. I'm gonna true. do that. Yeah. More. I yeah. think people spend more money on their costumes than they do for Halloween oh, at yes. Comic Con. And yeah. it's like handmade. Yeah. This is yeah. a like year-long project. Yeah. 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 A lot of people actually reuse it because it's their absolute favorite character. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And it is like four days. So. Yeah. <laughs> but we did get some confirmation from the Sailor Moon panel. Yes. Uh -oh. That. Okay. Well, that Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus will be coming into the Ooh. interesting are they mm -hmm. did they say if they're going with cousins or going with couple i think they're gonna it? go with it couple. seems like couple oh, cool. oh i hope they do yeah and see i mean they the way that they phrase they didn't say specifically but the way that they phrase it that their relationship will be intact yeah so okay. that to me feels like you know. I, it, there's some sort of bond <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah so cool. that's really exciting oh good that'll yeah. add some stuff and they were just yeah. also basically talking a lot about you know the voices and all that stuff about the dubs coming up so you know mm. nothing new but just more highlights yeah yeah, yeah. cool cool oh, so it's pretty awesome. cool all right guys well i guess we don't need to spoil it no 
no predictions because nah. yeah <laughs> except for we'll probably figure out what's in the box hey, yeah how about that yeah. what do you think is in the box <laughs> yeah and i guess since they have 26 hmm. episodes we can't have the sailor guardians appear back to back every yeah. single i'm gonna yeah. say it's probably one of the crystals because weren't there uh, a bunch of crystals in the original I series think, i but i think they were. don't know that yet okay yeah or it could be something. So maybe it'll just... be an introduction to one of. I don't know. I, I think it'll be something villainous I in think, the box. I oh, yeah. think it might be a weapon for mm-hmm. her to use. Yeah. For... Uh, I'm thinking that it is just a regular, gorgeous, like hope diamond sized mm-hmm. crystal that is worthless to anybody. <laughs> right. They only figure that out at the end, and probably the bad guy smashes it. Oh, yeah. I like That's that. My I like it. I'm curious to see what she turns into in the next episode. How irrelevant that yeah. disguise might be. Uh, <laughs> That'll be funny to see. I'm a scuba instructor. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, like, but she's like snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? She's like in the mountains. <laughs> oh, Sagi. Well, guys, that about wraps us up for this after show. In the meantime, go over to iTunes as well as YouTube. Rate, give us some stars, comment, let us know what you think about this episode. What you think about us. Please be good. And. <laughs> Yes, we'll keep the conversation going. And in the meantime, you can follow all of us. Where can we find you guys? Uh, I am The Walking Dale on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me on Instagram at Jury And, oh, sorry, on I-R-U-O-J-A and Twitter at Jury. I can't even remember. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at Markeia McCarty. That's M-A-R-K-E-I-A-M-C-C-A-R-T-Y. Uh, and if you love live comedy, uh, then if you come to Hollywood on the 10th of August, you can see my uh, group, Essence Improv. We are doing a benefit because we're going to Hawaii nice. in September. Mm. Very cool. Aloha. Yes. Yeah. We're going to be at Theater Asylum. It's a free show, and we will have a raffle. Awesome. Nice. And you can find me at K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S on Twitter as well as Instagram. And you can find the whole family here at AfterBuzz TV. And we will catch you guys in two weeks. Yeah. Bye. 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 From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. Buzz. See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.